tools needed to remove the drive gear from the stock clutch basket are a 1 8 drill bit, a 9 30 second drill bit, a hammer of your choice, a nice sharp chisel, a center punch, and some cutting oil. First thing you want to do is center punch the center of the rivets on the ring gear. Find the center as close as you can, the center punch, and give her a good wrap. You do that all the way around, 10 places. You can see in this basket I've already removed a couple rivets, so I'm going to show you how to go through that process. There's a couple different options. If you're using a hand drill, you'll need to use a 1 8 drill first, and then go back around with the 9 30 second drill. But I'll show, I'm going to show you how to do that in a drill press right now. First, first thing you want to do is oil the drill bit in the part. And we'll drill this first hole approximately 1 8 to 3 16 of an inch deep. That's all you'll need. Or until you see aluminum. Alright. Remove this drill bit. And now we use a 9 second drill bit. Get a little bit of oil. Again, drill 1 8 to 3 16 of an inch deep. If you center it perfectly, the rib will pop right off while you're drilling. If it doesn't, no worries. We're going to show you how to remove that here in a minute. Now, if you are using a drill press, you don't need the 1 8 drill bit hole. You just start with the 9 30 second. As I'm showing you right here. More oil. We run a drill bit about 500 RPM. You get black chips or dark chips, that means you're going too fast. See how the river pops right off of there? That's what's why. Okay, now that all the rivets are drilled with the 9 30 second drill, like I said, 1 8 to 3 16 of an inch deep, take a chisel. Make sure it's sharp. Probably doesn't have to be real sharp, but sharp is always better. Give it a good wrap. There they go. Knock them right off of there. Of course, hold on to your chisel. Okay, now that we've removed all the rivets, all I gotta do is pop this plate off. That's pretty much it. You can lift this gear up. Pop out all the plastic or rubber plugs that are in there. So then remove this, the two steel rings on top of the basket. One's a concave piece. The second one is a flat piece. It goes underneath the concave piece. And you'll see that on the assembly part of the video. And you can discard this because you won't need it anymore. Okay, we're going to show you how to install the drive ring onto the clutch basket. First of all, you want to reinstall the rubber grommets. Um, the, the side of the hole has a chamfer, is the side that goes down. So you'll install it just like this. Just very simple. Chamfer side, down. All the way around 10 places. If you get them upside down, the ring won't go on properly. So, next, you take the little steel rings that came with the original basket assembly. Flat one goes down first. See that? And then the concave one goes down second. The raised portion faces up. You see the concave part of the ring. Next you want to install the ring gear. 
What I do is I lube these holes with oil all the way around, makes it easier to install. Install it with the machine bring side down. It has to pile it inside this hole here. This, the cast side goes up. The machine side, down. Just like that. And then you force it down, side to side, back and forth. Get it all the way down. It's very snug. It's all the way down. Wipe off any excess oil. You do not want to get oil in the threaded holes, or the Loctite will not work. Next, the cover. As you can see, the cover, there's a stamp on it that says outside. That means outside, just like it's shown. Then you line up the hole. Take your screw, and first before you use the screw, clean the threads with brake cleaner, and take a paper towel, surround the threads, and unscrew the thread so it cleans all the oil off the threads, or your Loctite will not work. Then you'll install Loctite onto the screw, red Loctite, and you'll install all ten screws into the holes. All the way, 10, 10 holes, or 10 screws, torque to... Okay, once you've torqued down the bolts on the gear, and lock, red Loctited the 10 bolts, we're gonna peen over the, other, the opposite side of the screw. And the way to do this is, I've got a steel plate and some supports out of aluminum to lay the screws on. You can't, if you lay this flat on the table, obviously you'll see you'll have an issue when you, go, when you try to peen the screw. So that being said, the way we peen the screw, is we use a punch, a center punch, and a good size hammer. And what you'll do is you'll locate the punch on the edge of the screw, not in the center, but to the edge. Actually, there's a little lip there, you can feel it. And you give it a good wrap. Two wraps. You'll see it distorts the side of the bolt, which forces it into this, the aluminum, which will stop the screw from backing out, which probably will never happen. The Loctite would hold it there, but this is just a safety precaution. You can do that two places, 180 degrees apart from each other, or four places, 90 degrees apart. Whatever makes you feel safer. And let's see if you can get a look, see what they look like when they're finished. Gonna get a look at what the screw. You want to make sure it's distorted. You kind of bear it into the aluminum. You can see right there. And that's all you need to do. It's time for assembly.